already took most of my uh, speech. But, uh, <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I, I'm really glad to see many people out here. Um, I just want to give people an update on like what's uh, happening right now at City College as far as like student government and so forth. Because I see so many brand new faces. So yeah, the fight doesn't just, uh, it's not just with the ACCJC here, but what's actually happening uh, on, a, on a college campus at CCSF and with the changes that are occurring there as far as like the uh, with Board of Trustees uh, affecting some of the, uh, the um, social programs for student services and so forth as like DSPS, uh, you have uh, you know, Second Chance, yeah, EOPS, uh, all the diversity studies, um, and then all those courses and all those uh, uh, social services that, 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 that help the students out actually predominantly affect people of color. And we've already lost about 20,000 students. And so, you know, we, we ran on a slate that's actually fighting against that, and we're running on, on a principle of no compromise. There is going to be absolutely no compromise when it comes to them trying to slash more uh, programs. No compromise when it comes to cutting more courses. And so, we, I mean, we, we, we spent two weeks campaigning hardcore, going classroom to classroom, and we relied heavily on the students to come out and vote. And it wasn't a popularity contest. All 350 students that voted for me, I got second highest. This is my first semester here at CCSF. For me to get second highest votes means one thing. It means that I'm not like, you know, it means basically that what I was telling them in these classes, they could actually uh, understand, they could actually identify with. And that was basically to be like, no, we have to stop administration from cutting our programs. We have to stop administration from cutting our, our, our teachers. We have to stop them from uh, firing our counselors, uh, from cutting more of, uh, of our courses that we need. LGBT studies also. I mean, I was speaking to Mark Piper, who's one of the faculty there. He was saying that he had been running on private donations for his courses. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. We're, and we're talking about uh, diversity studies, like other, like Latino studies. Um, you know, me trying to get courses in that. I mean, there aren't that many offered as well. And so we have to fight back. PSA, which is Progressive Student Alliance, is actually going to do that when it comes to this fall and spring. So we're definitely going to, there's no compromise when it comes to that. We're going to try to work with AFT 2121, build a bridge with SEIU, hopefully, and basically build, build this united front against administration and make sure that we get all of the cuts, uh, uh, everything that's been cut, restored. And so I promise you guys that we're, we're going to be fighting relentlessly. Uh, we're going to increase the minimum wage for students as well. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's, at, uh, it's at $9 right now. I mean, shit. I mean, I, who, can, who can live off of that? <laughs> we, we work like 15 hours. People work 15 hours a week, get paid nine, $9 an hour. And, and you know, the, the, the rent has skyrocketed in SF. Uh, you know, and so hey, I could go on for days talking about it. But I just want to let everyone know that it's going to be a great fall. It's going to be a wonderful spring. Uh, the struggle is going to continue. HCJC is going down. They're building their own yeah. grave. Um, you have to understand, one thing I've always like under, uh, seen and history has, uh, has shown us is that the working class has this one intrinsic characteristic, and that's resistance, right? And so when you have uh, privatization pri uh, coming in and try to take stuff from us, we're always going to resist. And so history has shown that we're going to rebel and we're going to win. And so um, let's look forward to fall and spring and hope to see you all continuing in the struggle. Yeah.